Hello everybody, this is Stickman Weasel, and welcome to the Stickman Weasel Christmas Special. In this Christmas Special, I will be guiding you how to make Angry Birds custom levels. Now, you'll see all of these. Do not fear, as I will put this in a Google Drive link so you don't have to hunt them down. So, before I start with this, shout out to the Angry Birds series modding up Discord. They're a, they well obviously, they are a modding community based off Angry Birds, you know, they're dedicated, dedicated to modding Angry Birds and all the games so shout out to them they're cool now we got that out the way time to show you the main basis so you launch the game and you'll see this button called editor you're going to click that and you'll see these yellow dividers these dividers are supposed to tell you like uh it's the stage of the episode so one two three are all like stage one of poached eggs stage two of poached eggs stage three four and five is mighty hoax six seven eight is danger above and all of that so let's say i want to edit the first level so you're going to go to world one and go to this one. Or maybe, let's not do that because I'll explain in a second. How about we do level 10? So on the top left corner, you want to pay attention to that. You see how it it was level 10, but for some reason this little thing here says level 8. This top left corner is the Lua file. Known, I don't know why Rovio like randomly named it level 8 even though it's the 10th level. I don't know. Rovio's weird, man. So... Here's our stuff. So 1 and 2 are the stone or rock. Q and W are the wood. A and S are the glass. Z and X are the little ground things that Rovio use, like these. Um, 3 and 4 are the birds. E and R are the pigs. And uh, what else? Now, before I move on, C, V, U, I, and O, P. Refrain from these unless you use their specific emphasis. So like C, V... I forgot the episode name, but it's the one where they, like, it was a blue billboard. Not billboard, it was, like, the freaking blueprint crap, yeah. The one with the blueprint background. UI is bad piggies. OP are the short views stuff. So, if you use these in any other episodes, it will either crash your game, or the prop will be invisible. So, refrain from using those. Go for, uh, what was it, 5 and 6. Because you are allowed to use these props. Now that I'm out of the way, let's go with the birds first. So, the birds, if you hold L, it shows what order they are. So, this will be launched first, this will be launched second, this will be launched third, and yada yada. Let's say, well, maybe I want to replace Blue with uh, Terrence, so delete him. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm super sorry. Instead of holding left click or clicking on him, you right click. I don't know why that's there, but it... Rovio. Rovio moment. So let's say I want to do Terrence. Here's Terrence right here. Put him in. And then hit the number on where you want to, where he wants to be ordered. So maybe he wants to be the sixth bird to be launched. So put, he'll start will be six. But since this is just an example and he wants to be the first bird launched, I'll put it at one. And when you hold L, there you go. And see, I made a mistake. Let's just fix that real quick. And boom. I fixed it. So, you can do multiple other things, such as copying and pasting. So, you can do that. You can right click. You can rotate this around by holding control and left click, and you can do that. Or you can rotate it by. Um, I forgot what it was. Oh, it was Shift R, excuse me. You can do Shift R, and you can rotate it in like all eight directions. Just like that. And what else? You can also do some little shift click action here. So maybe I want to copy these two blocks together. You can't just drag them. You have to do right click. All right. Hold shift and right click that. Copy and look at that. I can make raining glass, but I'm not going to do that. Hey, get out of here. Quick end. I don't even know what that is does but whatever so let's say i want to do the balloons that will be h and j all right and we're going to copy paste this guy now for joints this is where i'm getting into you want to if either um either either doesn't matter drag like this but it's more recommended to just shift right click so do this and that hold shift j and you'll get distant joint, weld joint, and these other joints I'm not really familiar with. But I'm more familiar with just distant and weld. So distant, 
is basically more for balloon stuff like that. Um, weld is more for welding stuff together, mainly used for cosmetics, and I'll show you that in a second. So, oops, that's the wrong stuff. Oh, there we go. So, maybe I wanted to give him a sombrero. I could easily do that by doing that. Maybe making the balloon a bit higher. Just like that. Alright, and then give him a, the sombrero. I'm going to do that. Shift J and wall joint. So now, the sombrero will be attached to the pig. It won't spin around like crazy. Alright, so. The next step, just... Be creative, make your own level, and come back after you're done. Okay, so now the next step is to save. You're going to hit Control S. Now this is super important. You're going to hit Escape. Well, not you're going to, but you're probably going to hit Escape. Go back to the level and- Oh my god, the level's corrupted! What are we going to do? Don't worry, little Timmy. The level's not corrupted. I'll show you how to fix that. So in here, you're going to go over to the data. Go to the levels, go to the pack that you edited in, you're going to go to the temp, and as you can see here, this was just an example, that could go away. See level 8? Just like this, we level uh, we edited the level to a level 8. So we're going to go in here, and then you want to go all the way to the bottom, and then this is super important, you have to do this or else this will not work. At the end, add the following. File name, space equals... Space, in quotations, the level Lua. So, we edited level 10, it's level Lua is level 8, so level 8 dot Lua. Do not add the dot temp, or else, again, that will not work. And I'll show why. So you're going to save it now. I use Notepad++ because it's really good, by the way. I'll add the description. Add that into the description, I'm sorry. Um, that was my chair. <laughs> now we're going to go back... Go to the Angry Birds level stuff. Go into here. Alright. Now, make sure you have this option on. Put file in the 7-zip archive. So, file to be encrypted. Alright. This is the wrong stuff here. So, I'm going to redirect it. Um, to levels. Uh, where's that? Pack 1. Temp. Right here. And for the output file. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to go over here, alright, ignore this message, just click yes and hit the let's go button. Alright, now, when we go back, ta-da! And now, you can actually play test by going in, just like that. The big, the, the big, the pig took a little bit of damage, don't worry, all you have to do is just lower him down a little bit, that, that doesn't matter. As you can see, it's working perfectly, I destroyed the balloon with that. And I can do a bit of that and kill that guy. And that's basically it. Yeah, I killed all of them. So the main thing is here with the low uh, with the level editor, you can basically be creative, make your own custom levels for the game, and make your own Angry Birds mods. This has been the Stickman Weasel Christmas special. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good Christmas.